Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to limit control panel options available to domain users. Sometimes you may be asked as an administrator to impose more secure policies on users. For example, prevent access to the control panel or to leave some items for users and not leaving many options for users. And to create a policy that shows specific items from the control panel to domain users. First, open server manager and then click on the tools menu from top right of the page and from the menu click on group policy management after opening group policy management select the domain that you will work on then right click on the group policy object and from the menu click on new the next step is to type an appropriate name for this new policy in the new GPO box Surely this name will make accessing the GPO easier, after that click on OK button. Next, right click on the GPO that was just created. And from the menu, click on Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor. Then go to the left side of Group Policy Management Editor screen. And expand folders to access the path shown in front of you on the screen. Under User Configuration, expand the Policies folder. Then expand Administrative Template. And under it, just click on the Control Panel folder. Now go to Other Site to view available policies. Find policy called Show Only Specified Control Panel Items. And double click on it to open. And to activate this policy, Select Enable option. After that, you can make a list of the items that you want to appear to domain users. Click on the Show button. And here the list is empty. Type the name of the element that you want to be available to users. For example, I will add the mouse and keyboard, but make sure that the items is written correctly as it is written in the control panel. Can I also add the region to the list? And also the date and time. And the sound and then click on OK button. And you can at any time modify this list by clicking on the Show button and adding a new item or removing an item. Finally, click on the Apply button, then OK. You can then close Group Policy Management Editor screen. Last step is to link policy to organizational unit you want. Right click on OU. From the menu, click on Link an existing GPO. Then select policy that was just created and click OK button. And so it was linked. Now, I will work on the client's computers to test the GPO let's update the group policy. Then open command prompt and type the command shown in front of you. You can do a computer restart. If you do not update group policy, after update successfully, open control panel to check whether the policy is working or not. The GPO has been successfully applied to clients and domain users. Only the settings that I want to appear to users are shown. You can then adjust it as you like. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.